Hello, welcome to Audio Slides. I'm Daniel Lorias from Sinvestav. Here I present an overview of Spine Move Digsys version 1, a proof of concept training system for image guided spinal interventions. Spine Move Digsys is a simple, inexpensive, and functional surgical navigation system that allows metric based teaching and practice of basic but critical skills important in image guided interventions. It is low weight, weighing only 3 kilograms, portable, and plug and play. So, why is this important? Navigation technology, or computer assisted surgery, is widely used in various medical specialties, included image-guided spinal interventions, and it's become a fundamental part of clinical practice. The most relevant medical training systems accurately capture the movement of surgical instruments. Several studies have shown that motion analysis provides important information on the evolution of trainees' surgical skills from predicting the outcome of a given task to classifying the level of surgical skills. We tested the system experimentally. We performed a pilot test of the prototype system with 10 neurosurgeons, four of whom were experienced and six were just trainees. We also included two experienced orthopaedic surgeons. Each participant provided feedback on the prototype. Here we present some of our results. We generated a graph after needle insertion to represent the three-dimensional motion of the insertions performed via two-dimensional visual feedback. Using the scanned root of the needle, it was possible to determine the path of the needle and its components in the XY plane corresponding to the posteroanterior view. The component of the movement in the YZ plane was determined to represent the movement seen laterally, and the component of the movement in the XZ plane was determined to represent the movement seen axially. During task execution, the position of the needle tip was recorded every 0.1 seconds, that is, 10 samples per second. The vast majority of participants strongly agreed that the prototype could be used to develop basic skills of novice learners. 83% strongly agreed that it would be useful in training workshops. 58% strongly agreed that it was important that the system had metrics. And 50% agreed that the movement registration accuracy was sufficient for training purposes. The accuracy of the metrics were verified by mathematical equations and secured using a milling machine to prove that they accurately corresponded to instrument displacement. Here we compare our system with other leading platforms. Although the system measures pitch and yaw, it does not currently record rotation on the instrument's own axis. We do not see this as a significant disadvantage since few systems offer the advantage of using real instruments. The simulation is versatile, and few systems offer different scenarios that lead to the improvement of skills in real-life clinical situations. The different technological options for simulation range from very basic proposals to the technologically more advanced. However, none is reported to have significant advantages over others. Although haptic technology has improved in recent years, Virtual systems are considered inferior to physical models for truly reproducing the surgical experience. Having tested the system and having run navigation tests, we established the main features of the system which are summarised in the table. Our simulator is a good start, not least because economic and easy-to-use simulators that allow the development of skills and competencies outside the operating room are urgently required. Future developments of our system include technical updates, including the incorporation of new hardware and tasks of increasing complexity. Face, content and construct validity as well as how effective the system is in transferring competencies acquired outside the operating room to real-world performance also need to be assessed.